Question 1. What is Dynamic Content Oracle Apex? Answer. Dynamic Content Region is based on Place SQL enable you to render any HTML or text using the Place SQL Web Toolkit. With Dynamic Content Region you can control the region performance and contain support for MLE. Question 2. What are the top 8 advantages of Ajax that you should know? Answer. Enhances performance, improves response time, enables asynchronous processing, reduced bandwidth usage, Ajax is user-friendly, supported by multiple browsers, better form validation, bolsters user experience. Question 3. What are the Apex REST request methods? Answer. Delete, get, patch, post, put. Question 4. What is static ID in Apex? Answer. The static ID which is submitted for id attribute of an HTML element, may be input elements, region or any other component which renders an HTML, should be unique throughout the page. Question 5. What is Apex Runtime? Answer. An Oracle Apex Runtime environment enables you to run production applications, but it does not provide a web interface for administration. A runtime environment only includes the packages necessary to run your application, making it a more hardened environment. Question 6. What is a navigation menu? Answer. A navigation menu is typically a horizontal or vertical bar that can be found on every one of your website's landing pages. With a navigation menu, Visitors can easily make their way around your website and get to where they want to go. Whether it's your online store or your About Us page. Question 7. What is Application Files? Answer. Application files are only available to the current application. Use hashtag app files hash in your application to reference a file. Question 8. What is Workspace Files? Answer. Workspace files are available to all applications for a given workspace. Use hashtag Workspace Files hash in your application to reference a file. Question 9. What is Application Computations? Answer. Application computations are a type of declarative processing that allows developers to perform calculations or set values based on user input or other data on a page or across an entire application. Question 10. What is frames or embed in frames? Answer. Use this attribute to control if the browser is allowed to display your application's pages within a frame. A. Deny. The page cannot be displayed in a frame, regardless of the site attempting to do so. B. Allow from same origin. The page can only be displayed in a frame on the same origin as the page itself. C. Allow. The page can be displayed in any frame. Question 11. What is Progressive Web App? Answer. A Progressive Web App. PWA is a type of web application that uses modern web technologies to provide a mobile app-like experience to users, with features such as offline access, push notifications, and the ability to add to the home screen. PWAs are designed to work across all devices and platforms, regardless of screen size or operating system. Some key features are A. Fast and responsive. B. Offline access, circa app-like experience, D. Easy to install, E. Secure. Question 12. How page items or application items used in JavaScript? Answer. A. $x, P2 underscore text underscore field, value. B. X equals dollar, hash P2 underscore display underscore only, text, C. $x, P2 underscore text underscore field, value equals, hello world, or dollar, hash P2 underscore display underscore only, text, 
Hello World. D. Apex. Item. P28 underscore first. Get value. E. Apex. Item. P2 underscore E name. Set value. Do. SJ. Question 13. What is a dynamic action in Oracle Apex? Answer. A dynamic action is a declarative feature in Oracle Apex that allows developers to create interactive behavior on their application pages without requiring custom code. Question 14. What is breadcrumb in Oracle Apex? Answer. A breadcrumb is a hierarchical list of links that indicates where the user is within the application from a hierarchical perspective. It is useful for providing navigational context to end users, and an easy way to navigate back to the home. Question 15. What is page access protection? Answer. Pages within an Apex application can be protected by your authorization scheme to prevent access to certain sets of users. The applicability of authorization schemes is a lot more granular. Reports, buttons, and processes can all also be protected. Select what type of session state protection is implemented for this page. Available options include A. Unrestricted B. Arguments must have checksum C. No arguments supported. D. No URL access. Question 16. What is ACL in Oracle Apex? Answer. Access control list, ACL, in Apex. Question 17. What is RESTful Web Services, and how are they used in Oracle Apex? Answer. RESTful Web Services are a way to expose application data and functionality as a set of standardized URLs that can be accessed by other applications or services. RESTful Web Services are widely used in modern web development to create flexible and scalable applications that can interact with a wide range of other systems. Question 18. What is Dynamic SQL in Oracle Apex, and how is it used? Answer. Dynamic SQL in Oracle Apex is a way to generate and execute SQL statements at runtime, based on user input or other variables. Dynamic SQL can be used to create flexible and powerful applications that can respond to changing data or business requirements. However, Care must be taken to ensure that dynamic SQL statements are secure and do not expose the application to SQL injection attacks. Question 19. How do you create a report in Oracle Apex? Answer. To create a report in Oracle Apex, you can use the Report Wizard, which guides you through the process of selecting the data source, defining the report columns and layout, and configuring any filters or sorting options. Alternatively, you can create a report manually using SQL queries and the Apex reporting APIs. Apex reports can be customized extensively using templates, CSS, and JavaScript. Question 20. What is a plugin in Oracle Apex? Answer. A plugin in Oracle Apex is a modular component that developers can use to add custom functionality to their applications. Plugins are typically written in JavaScript or Place, SQL, and can be downloaded from the Oracle Apex community or created by developers themselves. Plugins can be used to add functionality such as charts, calendars, and social media integration to Apex applications. Question 21. What is the difference between a theme and a template in Oracle Apex? Answer. A theme is a collection of CSS files and images that define the look and feel of an Apex application, while a template is a pre-built application layout that can be customized to fit the needs of a specific application. Question 22. What is an Apex collection? Answer. An Apex collection is a temporary storage area within an Apex application that allows developers to store and manipulate data without requiring a database table. Question 23. How do you create an Apex collection? Answer. To create an Apex collection, 
navigate to the Shared Components section of the Apex User Interface, select Collections, and follow the prompts to define the collection name, type, and attributes. Question 24. How can you improve the performance of an Oracle Apex application? Answer. Using caching, optimizing SQL queries, minimizing page size. Question 25. What is RESTful Web Services support in Oracle Apex? Answer. RESTful Web Services support in Oracle Apex allows developers to create and consume RESTful Web Services within their Apex applications, making it easy to integrate with external systems and services.